of YouTube. This is Super Rep with CLE, and today I'm going to be testing out my um, live stream background for my upcoming YouTube channel soon when I get to 1,000 subscribers called Streamer Rep Floyd CLE. And as you can see, I made this background myself, and of course, I have the YouTube uh, gaming logo that you see on the upper left corner. And of course, I got the two screens the webcam and the Windows screen. And today I'm just going to be testing out a few games while I'm live streaming for you, testing out the live streaming feature. And, I'm, and today I might do some uh, <clears throat> Atari gaming, so let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so the first game I'm going to test out for Atari, before uh, live streaming in the future, is Adventure Atari, one of my favorite Atari games for the 2600. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh. Work on a road. Now you whoa! Now usually I start off with the sword. Okay, that dragon made me jump. Usually I start the whole thing off with the sword at the bottom. So I wonder, like, where the heck is the sword? Because that's the easiest way to start the whole entire thing off when you're playing the third level of Adventure Target. Okay, so. <clears throat> Alright, so, whoa, that dragon came fast. Another one? Obviously, that's one faster. Ooh, there it is. I'm gonna slap your tip. Come on, come on. Why did it attack him? Get out of the way! I need to go to a different area to uh, lose him. There we go. That should do it. I think the Whoa. Too much blinking. Okay. I think that concludes the dragons for now. Now let's head to the uh, room where I can find the uh, scales for the yellow castle. And after that, I gotta find the yellow key. I mean, if the scales are on the black castle, I'll need to refer to the white castle and head to the part where I can find the... Uh, Colorful rainbow like scales or whatever, they, or whatever it is. It's like treasure. It's very bad. There it is. That's the bat. I'm always tired how that bat. Oh, I could have had. <clears throat> I could have had him. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm trying my best to snag the bat so I can. Oh. I almost had that. Oh, God. At the bottom. At the top. Gotcha. All right, bat. You're coming with me. All right. So I got the bat with the treasure for the castle, just to give it some little colorific feature. I'm gonna exchange. I'm gonna have the bat exchange for the black key. With that done, I'm gonna bring this back to the yellow castle and try to find the yellow key. So that I can bring this treasure inside the yellow castle. That way the game will end. Greatly. As you can see, the back got the sword. Luckily I managed to beat the dragon. Oh, there it is. I just have to open the door. And the game will be complete. Oh. Wasn't expecting that to happen, point blank. But <laughs> yeah. But yep, that's Adventure Atari for you. Alright, next game I'm gonna test out during my live stream for YouTube is <clears throat> pole position. I really don't like this version of pole position. I like the uh how you how you change gear. Okay, let's scratch that out. Um, let's go to the next one. Rampage. George. Okay, drop me off.
Luckily, they didn't shoot me. And there are those helicopters. I probably should have went from the top first. And then- Whoa! That hurt. Well, I can't seem to come on top of that middle building now, because... Well, yeah. But you get the idea for a uh, rampage. All right. Um. Next, I'm gonna play one of my favorites, Sword Quest Waterworld. I always play this game numerous of times. The idea is to get the treasures to the right room. These aren't the correct treasures for room one, so we're gonna remove them. Avoid the obstacles, you gotta avoid the sharks, the jellyfish, the uh and you also gotta jump through the uh glaciers. Well not basically glaciers, but floating lands to head to the next room. And I'm talking about this. And every time I mess up I like start over and do multiple save states so that I can get through. But even though you waste too much time and not But even though you waste too much time trying to get through, you can still pass the whole entire room. Okay. Got to the next room. Got the ring. Go past the sharks again. Got the amulet. Or is it the pen? The crown. Now you have to do is just go back to the top and put the whole thing with the treasure you got. Okay, so we're back in the first room and head to the bag. Press the action button and just bring up the items. And there you go. And that's how you handle it on Sword Quests Waterworld. Okay, now here's one awkward thing. I know a lot of games by Atari have the first term called Star. And here's one thing that I came across Star Fox. It doesn't even count as the one. Nintendo, and I'd rather stick with that other than the Atari version of Star Fox. So let's just go on to something else. The most famous game ever since I watched the documentary of Atari called Game Over, Yard's Revenge was one of the most popular Atari games for the Atari 2600. And <laughs> yeah, I haven't forgotten about that one. And it was found on ET's game, the game of ET. Oh, avoid that. Thing there, whatever it is, that bolt. Go to the. Co Whoa! That hurt. Got hit again? Jeez. Okay. Trying again. Hit the center. There you go. Okay. You guys know what, what that game's about anyway, so let's go with something else. Um. Hmm. I would try Moon Patrol, but I like the arcade version better. And of course the Flash game as well. I'm gonna go with Missile Command. Yeah, it's much easier doing Missile Command when you use a mouse or a joystick or whatever. A keyboard? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm good at using the keyboard to play this game, but I'd rather just use the mouse than the strike ball device or anything. Next, we have Peace Cake. In this game, you're making a cake. God dang it! 
Oh, the cake failed. I'm a bad chef. Let's try again. There we go. That's what we want right there. Now when the kick, when the music goes faster, which I find rather inconvenient, that's when the whole entire cake making process goes faster, so you have to be very quick. Alright, next game is Mario Bros. Mario Brothers! And I find it rather strange that Mario Brothers is on Atari. It was originally originally from Nintendo. But hey. Alright, let's go ahead and get this game started. Um, are you gonna start? Or am I pressing the wrong button? <sighs> Whatever, let's just go to something different. Ah, uh, here we go, Gravitar. Let's see. Okay, I'm not I'm not using the mouse, so what's going on here? Let me see. Okay, there we go, there we go. Avoid that thing. You definitely gotta avoid that thing that Oh! Why do I think it's coming back? That thing always comes back. This part gets more more difficult. When I first played this game on the TV game, actually. Um this part was hard to do. You gotta shoot that reactor there. Try to get a good shot. Now to get the heck out of there. <clears throat> there we go. Tilt, tilt, tilt. There we go. That was a good one. <laughs> it was very difficult though. Alright, next is frogs and flies. You're going against the red frog down there. It is many flies. Each fly you eat is two points. The idea is to get more points than the computer player. There we go. For me, it's much easier to play by computer. Two in one hop. <laughs> you actually got one now. He's still got a long way to go. Now this game, I saw this, the first time I saw this game was on the movie called Grandma's Boy. The movie that my big sister showed me one time. I think it was last year, I think. Yeah. So... Yeah. Alright, next game we got is one of my favorites, The Laser Gate. Now I had this on my phone, it's very hard to play because you gotta make so much movement. <laughs> so yeah, it's much easier for me to play on a computer other than the phone. Heck, probably the actual Atari system. <laughs> oh! Wasn't, wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, that was a fast bullet.
Oh. Grab the anti bar. There we go. Alright, next we're gonna try out Pitfall. The second. Made by Activision. Now the objectives are almost the same as the first version of Pitfall, you gotta collect the gold bars or whatever currency you have available throughout the level. That's when you earn tons of points, and of course, earn more time. But this game doesn't have a time limit, it's just survival I guess. And every time you get messed up by the enemy, it deducts points taking you back to the previous checkpoint you come to. The checkpoint is like the red cross. and you have to like, uh, <clears throat> ah, I can't even talk right now. but yeah, once you get to that red cross, that's a checkpoint, and yeah, oh my, and every time you fall from the highest point and crash down hard, you lose like 100 points, so it's best that you take the uh, ladder. Checkpoint made. Okay, next game I'm gonna try out is Bugs Bunny. Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start this one. The idea is to hop in the hole. Help Bug Bunny avoid Elmer Fudd's gun and hop inside the hole as fast as you can. Four points. The higher you go, the more fast Elmer Fudd gets. Hard time avoiding him, just jump to the end, the end point, and it will actually take you to the other side of the floor you're in, like this. Yep. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh my. Elmer is P. You might throw the big numbers! Too slow. Too easy. Just gotta keep your eyes open. Yep. Oops. <laughs> Not again. He got back. <laughs> oh god. After you're done with this little one thing, that's when he'll that's when it will show the uh cutscene of Bugs when he's chasing after the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Come back your way! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Yeah, right. Won't be hunting that anymore because I exit the game. <laughs> Next, we got Breakout. Now, as you can see, it's compatible with the mouse. So we get. Oh my. And the higher you get, the faster the ball is.
Dang it, I missed it. But yeah. Alright. Next we have. Um, they don't have Pong in there? Dang! Now on that TV game of Atari, they had Pong in there, but I guess they don't. It's on there. Pack Con, what's that? Oh, I remember this. I definitely remember this. This is something that is similar to the game, the Nintendo's game called Donkey Kong. Now you got the letters here, and oh, I love the save state there. Yep. Avoid those blinking obstacles. Let's move on. Oh, hi. I missed that. I was on the edge. It's gotta be feral. Okay. Last game I'm going to test out before I conclude this video. Well, two more games, and that's it. And the next one I'm going to do is Rock and Roll. Now I'm going to find a game somewhere and get started. Here it is. It's one of my favorite games made by Konami. Or Color Go. Okay. was right there. Oh well. At least now I don't have to worry about him. Sorry, took him down with my uh, stun. Okay then. Last game I'm going to test out before I conclude this testing video for live streaming in the future is Centipede. This is actually pretty good. And this does make a good sound for Centipede on the card. Thank you. 
Guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video of my upcoming live streaming team team. Well, I was doing a little test run on my uh, live stream background that I'll be utilizing for my secondary YouTube channel, which will be a live stream channel. So yeah, if you want me to go ahead and do some live streaming, go ahead and subscribe till we get to 1,000 on the original channel, which is called Silver Reptoid CLE, and I'll see you guys on the secondary channel. But overall, <clears throat> and regardless, I hope you guys enjoy watching this testing video that I'm trying that I did for you guys. Be sure to check my other videos and other contents I have on my YouTube channel. More videos to come soon. I also look forward to you guys on a secondary YouTube channel that I'm planning on making soon. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Don't forget to share because we care. Join my community links in the description. Follow me on Google Plus. I'll see you guys on the next video.